State Visit of U.S. Special Envoy for the Horn of Africa. Hello and welcome. I am Afumi Ayale and this is News Analytica. <music> Ambassador Mike Hammer has been serving as the United States Special Envoy for the Horn of Africa since 2022. He has also served as the United States Ambassador to Chile from 2014 to 2016 and the United States Ambassador to the Democratic Republic of the Congo from 2018 to 2022. U.S. Special Envoy for the Horn of Africa, Mike Hammer, is traveling to Nairobi and Addis Ababa from August 28th to September 8th, where he meets with Kenyan and Ethiopian officials, the African Union, the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, and other international partners. He will discuss the ongoing crisis in Sudan and regional and international efforts to end the violence establish democratic governance, and support justice and accountability. In Ethiopia, he will also discuss the continued implementation of the Secession of Facilities Agreement, as well as urge the protection of civilians and negotiated resolution to the ongoing conflict in the Amhara and Oromia regions. The U.S. Special Envoy for the Horn of Africa has a recent history of traveling to Kenya from June 27 to 30th, to consult with regional and international partners on supporting continued implementation of the November 2022 Secession of Hostilities Agreement in northern Ethiopia. This was a continuation of his travel to Mekelem, Tigray, for talks and Tigray's peace. On the other hand, the context of the conflict in the Amhara and Oromia regions is multifaceted. The regions of the civil unrest are deeply rooted in historical, political, and ethnic dynamics. The Amhara and Oromo ethnic group are two of Ethiopia's largest. However, perceptions of marginalization, economic disparities, and displacement of ethnic Amhara and Oromo communities have fueled resentment among certain communities. This content has also been exasperated by perceived imbalances in power-sharing arrangements under the federal system. The conflict's implications are substantial. Human rights abuses, displacement, and loss of life have been reported affecting not only the Amhara and Oromo population, but also other groups. The violence threatens Ethiopia's stability, given its diverse ethnic landscape. It also hampers economic development and social progress, undermining efforts to elevate poverty and achieve sustainable growth. Moreover, the conflict could exasperate ethnic divides and potentially lead to the country's disintegration. The U.S. Special Envoy for the Horn of Africa also faces a serious challenge on the issue of Sudan, as fresh violent clashes between the Sudanese Armed Forces (SAF) and the Paramilitary Rapid Support Forces (RSF) in the country have resulted in a mass exodus, resulting in the displacement of over 3.3 million people, including internally displaced people (IDPs), asylum seekers, and refugees. Sudan has been in the grip of violence and displacement since the onset of the Darfur crisis in 2003. IDP surpassed 3.7 million by the end of 2022, with the majority residing in camps in Darfur. Chad, South Sudan, Egypt and Ethiopia host 800,000 Sudanese who are living as refugees in these countries. In general, addressing conflicts necessitates comprehensive approaches. Long-term solutions should involve inclusive governance that provides meaningful representation for all. International mediation and diplomatic efforts may be crucial to prevent further escalation. Ultimately, resolving the conflict in the larger Horn of Africa requires a delicate balance between upholding national unity and recognizing the legitimate aspirations of various communities. As such, Ambassador Hammer's visit is expected to result in concrete steps towards ensuring lasting peace and stability, not only for the aforementioned countries, but for the greater Horn of Africa. So, will the visit bring any substantial transformation or not? Only time will tell. That was all for today's news analysis. Thank you for watching and make sure you join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analytica. <laughs>